Bronx in their first group game against Zenit, but they shot the Russian champions with a from behind win in Nicosia. It was one of the greatest moments in my career and it was a very important moment for me. The Cypriot's surprise victory was secured by two goals from Brazilians. The goals are the most important when you score in Champions League, especially when your team is considered the, the weakest team in the group. Brazilian players, usually, are football lovers. They see football as a pleasure. They must be happy in order to play good football. Here is very good. The, the life is very safe. The weather is very good. The people, they are very lovely. And uh, everybody loves football here. So we have a lot of quality here to live. It's very nice. The fans here in Cyprus, they are very passionate. They are always in the team and you can really hear them when, when you are in the stadium, when we play. Just qualifying for the tournament sparked amazing scenes. For supporters and players alike, there's a sense of national pride in setting Europe's biggest stage. When you qualify twice in three years for the Champions League, it can't be considered as a random event. For Apoel, this is important for its history, but also for all football fans here in Cyprus. We will hear the Champions League song and uh, it's how we, we have seen on the TV uh, all these, these years, the big players and the best teams. So it's, for me, it was a, a wonderful feeling. But last month, tragedy struck. Popular defender Christos Contis suffered a heart attack after a league game. He survived, but had to retire. I think life is the most important thing, and I have a family, uh, I have two kids. Football is one part of me. I was playing before three weeks uh, professionally football. I loved it. Uh, I give all my energy in this. I see everything different now. I, I see that my health is the most important thing. Now I think that I, I can help from another point of view. Now we have a new life in front of me. The fans showed their feelings for the 36-year-old with an emotional tribute before the game against Zenit. It was something very moving. We didn't know about it beforehand. It's important to, to show to Quantis that everybody miss him and we miss him. And, uh, and that he's an important player because he was. I wanted to cry. It was... Uh, so huge what I was seeing there and uh, unbelievable. I don't know if I can uh, I can hold all this love. It's, it's too much. It's uh, it's something that you don't feel uh, every day. It's, it's nice also for Conte, but special for us to feel that they like every player here and uh, they have a lot of respect for, for, for the football players here. The every player here are very close. The Cypriots, the Greeks, the Brazilian, the Portuguese, the Serbians, we are all like a family. It was perfect. And with the win, uh, it was uh, better. So, can Apoel continue to defy the odds in the Champions League? Their next test is tough. With Shakhtar the next in Ukraine. Shakhtar is a very good team, it's a different team than uh, Zenit. I think Zenit is more tactical team and Shakhtar is more technical than tactical. Uh, they have a lot of Brazilians. I, play, you know, I want us know, to play the football that has a standout as a club. And the matches we play will give us the chance to see how far we can go and where we can get to this year in the Champions League. Nobody is playing Champions League by accident. I think everybody has respect for everyone, but we are leaving the group in Porto, so the attitude will be a little bit more careful. So is one of Apoel's tight Shakhtar in Group G, Zenit host Porto. Sending off against Apoel means that Bruno Alves won't play against Porto for Zenit, but his team will be after some inside information from their defender following his 10 years at the Portuguese champions. Incredible 100% record on Russian soil. Next, 